to get to that missed deadline now by the Broward Sheriff's Office that's leaving many with questions over what is next with the county's 911 system. So Saturday was the deadline and the county never heard from the sheriff. NBC6's Amanda Placencia has been digging into what this means for residents and what will happen next. She joined us right now uh, from Fort Lauderdale with a whole lot more on this. Yes, Trina and Shelley, the Broward Sheriff's Office missed that deadline to renew their contract with the county on their 911 system. So we looked into what this could mean moving forward. The future of Broward's 911 system is up in the air. Saturday was a deadline for Sheriff Tony to sign a three month extension to continue its partnership with the county's emergency dispatch system. But there was apparently no response from the sheriff. I had hoped that the sheriff would have executed the agreement as is, but unfortunately he did not. And therefore, you know, per our statutory regulations, we have to provide the 911 system. And so the administration sent the letter uh, to the sheriff notifying him that there is no longer an agreement and that we have to move forward. In her letter on Sunday, Broward's county administrator also asked for a meeting this week to, quote, plan for an orderly transition of the operator function. The 911 system has had some issues in the past, including the MSD Public Safety Commission criticizing the response in Parkland and the shooting at Fort Lauderdale Airport. The problem also came to a head in April of this year when a woman lost her home in a fire after her calls to 911 went unanswered. The sheriff had been back and forth with the county previously saying they were understaffed with dispatchers and that he'd sign the extension contract only if the county made technological changes. The Broward County Commission had recently approved over $4 million to help fill positions with dispatch personnel. Broward County Mayor Lamar Fisher said the sheriff's office will continue to run the operator system during this transition, which could take between six to nine months. There's no change immediately. The sheriff will continue to do so until that transition is, is, is put in place. We need to move forward and make sure that public safety is our number one priority at the Broward County and uh, sort of make sure that those calls will be answered. Some cities that use the system have expressed their concerns with this change. In a statement, Vice Mayor Tommy Rosano with the city of Margate wrote, the county and BSO need to put their egos aside and come up with a resolution to solve this ongoing problem. Public safety is number one, and these two groups need to work this out. Dispatch needs to have people familiar with the area and location, and the city of Margate and other cities have been stressing this for years, and whatever we can do to improve the system, we will. And the county just wants to make sure that there are no disruptions when people call 911. So next steps will be discussed at the next county commission meeting, which is on January 24th. We've also reached out to the Broward Sheriff's Office, but they are closed today because of the holiday. Live near Fort Lauderdale, Amanda Placencia, NBC6 News.